So this is how my presentation will go through. So together we will explore, we will see the resource that the factory has, the material that we have, we will make, make a diagnosis, then afterwards we will define some details because they are still not defined, and then we will see how to communicate on the material we do have. Cool. So the first part is the deep dive, which is the diagnosis. We will see like all the material we do have in the factory. We will uh, make a diagnosis so that we know what we have and the things that needs to be improved. Do you know Martin Fisher is like, he was a German born American physician and he kind of combined the art and method medicine. And since he combined art and medicine, even for art, which what we are doing here in the factory, the art of porcelain, well, diagnosis is not the end, but the beginning of practice. Even though like, we will see some bad points about the, the factory, some negative points and good points as well, like the, the weaknesses and the strengths that we do have, but diagnosis is an important first phase. Okay. So, for marketing, what we need to know about marketing is that there are two parts, strategic marketing and operational marketing. The strategic marketing is more about the segmentation of our market, the targeting, the, the people that we target and we make, we, fa we manufacture for them, and then the positioning. For segmentation, all I've noticed these two past weeks is that we only focus on occupation, age, and country. For example, for the art residents, we um, we are trying to bring people from all over all over the world. So, country is a characteristic, if you want. Age, old, and professional artists, for example, and occupation, whether they are artists, whether they are potters, whether they are just normal visitors. And this is an important first phase because we need to know the characteristics so that we can define our target. If we, we, we say country that we target like people from Australia, from America, from Morocco, from, this is an important characteristic. Then this is like the current situation. Uh, the targeting um, for the art residents, for example, we target potters, designers, artists, and for manufacturing, we target buyers, the one that comes and, uh, and buy the porcelain. And then for the positioning, we have none. We don't have a positioning. A positioning is that how we position our offer in the market. And uh, yes, that means that we don't have still the answer of the what we do, why we do it, and for whom we do it. And this is why we don't communicate to the word that these three elements. Okay, cool. This is what we need to know. This is what we need to focus about. We have the offer, what we offer, the factory, what does it offer really? So we have Kuraku Kiln, which is the factory. It's a product itself. <laughs> it's three important products. We have the art residence the porcelain products and the treasure hunting. And if we focus on those three and we try to uh, modify some things and improve some things, I think it will be like a good positive uh, answer to the Kuraku kiln, like the reputation and the image. If we focus on those three, then we can make other projects. If we succeed in those three, we can make other projects more successful. But we can't focus on like so many things because if we focus on so many things, then the quality of each product will be just slow, would be just not that good. Okay, cool. First, we have the porcelain products. So I've been in the showrooms uh, here. Uh, I've been uh, in the factory, I've seen, so I, I've taken some notes and everything and I've noticed that there are three types of porcelain products. The old sets, well, they are defined like we, the old sets that I've, I've taken some pictures. Um, I can, all I can say is that uh, the substances are really refined. For example, there are some products using gold, platinum and other substances and they are really refined substances we can see them uh, of the in the product 
unique and authentic like if you see a bowl with gold and platinum like it tells story it tells the, all the history of the factory uh complicated patterns because they are crowded of paintings and stuff like that so they are really really um rich rich that's uh, all i can say and some of them are present in the treasure hunting which is a good thing and then oh, i've made like a um you know uh, uh, how, how can we say <laughs> Scale. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I've made like uh, a scale of price and it goes from 2,000 to 17,000. That's what I've seen in the showroom. Um, exactly. Um, and then the promotion, there is no, no promotion for these, uh, these products. They just exist in the showroom. If, if buyers come, they just buy it there. Okay. For the new sets, the things that you've been produ producing lately, uh, they are attractive, they are simpler. They are chic because they're using the same sphere of colors. You don't have like so many colors, but the same sphere of colors. A uh, small portion of refined substances, for example, you don't find like too much gold or too much platinum. And that's an economy for, for the factory. And then uh, they might seem simple, but then when you take it and look at it, they really, they, they have a charm. And then the price goes from 2,000 to 10,000 uh, Japanese yen. And then places, the net when, I, when I see the places, the network means that you, buy, like, you have a network of buyers, you have a network of uh, people that buys your porcelain. And then promotion, there is no promotion. I haven't seen a, a promotion. And then, this is something that we need to focus about because you have um, Mr. Tokunaga's father friend collection that is present only in this factory. And probably we can, uh, we can seize this opportunity to show people that we have something that the other factories don't have. Okay, if you have questions, you can ask me throughout this presentation or we can leave it till the end. The Arab residence, which is here, and the guest house, here. So, what I've noticed is that the location is quite small and it can host more than six artists. Like, this, this place hosts only six artists, no more than six artists. And uh, the facilities all, like, goes with six artists. You can, you can, uh, you can translate, Pimenta. <laughs> because I, I feel like I'm, I'm talking in... And you have you're busy? I have to open, just open and come back soon. Okay, I will continue and then okay. and I come back. Okay. So as I said, the location here is small and the price is two hundred thousand GPI per month, which so includes the speak slowly in English. Okay. <laughs> it uh, it includes the guest house, four kilos of porcelain per kilograms, and uh, the studio and the facilities as well. Uh, the place is in here, the studio in the factory, and the promotion is only the network of artists that Pimenta has, and it goes from word to mouth. They just like the artists just talk between each other and they tell each other that there is a studio in Erita and this is how it goes and uh, and of course emailing because Pimenta keeps emailing information um, about the, the art residence. So this is the actual situation. Treasure hunting. So uh, the treasure hunting, we know that the treasure hunting, it goes in two ways. The idea is quite interesting because no other factory has this treasure hunting and what we're trying to do is make out of this treasure hunting an attraction for people to come uh, so there are two rooms in the warehouse one that's worth 5,000 GP the Japanese yen and uh, the other is worth 10 10,000 yen it's because the factory is proud of these products so the price is, is, is upper 
the place it's in the warehouse which is there and the promotion only Facebook and emailing that's the actual situation we're trying to see the actual situation the image of the factory and reputation the image of the factory positive points and negative points for the positive points we have the image of the factory is a key factor of the development of Eritas tourism you guys are uh, an important element in the tourism of uh, Arita because people sometimes just come to see the tra to, to come treasure hunting and afterwards they go to see Arita so we can work together to make Arita's tourism develop even more uh, the second point is the factory has got an undeniable potential in terms of destination people sometimes the other way around they come to Arita and then they hear about the treasure hunting so they come it's the other way around so what we're trying to do is why why because the the, the factory it's authentic uh, the place is quite old but it's it, it's authentic it's really beautiful people come to see those little old things they, they really love traveling through history uh, if we make those two points combine, well, it'd be really, really successful. The negative points, lack of content. We don't have the content. We are here, but we're not transmitting our beliefs, our values to the world, which means that we are here and people just come. Sometimes they hear about us just, just like that. There is no reason, but just, they just like that. Like typing, typing probably Kuraku kill and they just discover things through each other we don't it's not us that transmit the message but they kind of discover it between each other it's a kind of a network we don't have an identity like of originality and values i mean the thing is i've been here for two weeks but nobody talked to me about the beliefs the values like uh i am working in karaku kiln and i'm proud of proud of this and i'm uh, the Krakow Kiln is uh, producing this because of this. They, they just let me just discover by myself. They are, they are not really showcasing their pride about the, the factory. Why they are happy for probably to work in the factory. Visual ID is not attractive. Uh, the logo you have is not really attractive. <laughs> it's not attractive. Uh, it doesn't tell the, the history and the story of the factory. It's not rich. And then there is a poor combination between the positioning of the initial production and the accompanying offer, which means that there is no link between the producing the, 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 the factory, inside the factory, and the other two attractions that you do have like for example there is no link between what you produce and the art residence and the treasure hunting we need to make a link so that we make out of the factory a destination just a destination we do this we do that and uh, it's all it's all in Kuraku kill at the end of the day it's Kuraku kill right and this is the most important thing so we will uh, make a swap uh, SWOT analysis like strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So for our strength, Kuraku Kiln, what, what is known for is the authentic products. Like products that are really historically known. We have, we have like a rich history. Other than that, using refined substances and materials as well, it's our strength uniqueness and originality we are still original we are still unique and this is a strength uh, diversity of products and that means that we produce porcelain products we have a treasure hunting we have an art residence and we have a guest house and this is a diversity of product we are diverse and this is really important this is the thing that we need to focus on we respect the environment and this is really important and the staff and workers are really friendly, friendly to visitors. The workers and, uh, for example, when visitors go visit the factory, they're really happy because the workers are really friendly. They can just stop and talk to you and explain things to you in Japanese even though you don't understand. And uh, this is a strength that we need to focus on as well. Weaknesses. 
we have the price because the price don't match with young people they find it really expensive and uh, this is why sometimes they're really interested in a product but they give up at the end of the day so price needs to be reviewed not for the old product but uh, just think of other offers for students for example for for young people and uh, it will go just right uh, we have a restricted target because we don't target normal visitors people that just use porcelain for utensils for kitchen we don't target these we target just you know like just potters for example for the art residents or buyers that they want to make something out of Karaku kiln uh, products lack of space the art residence is small the guest house is small as well so sometimes people need to share rooms and sometimes when it's hectic it's not really good it's not a good image for Karaku kiln and this can hold only six artists like the maximum and the guest house the, it has just six rooms and it's not really enough for example during the festival or the two festival that you have during the year it's not going to be enough so probably just rearrange the space we're not telling you to renovate everything but just like create more space uh as i said before lack of idea because we've noticed that you use four different names Sometimes it, it's lucky, happy, lucky side. Sometimes it's Kuraku kiln. Sometimes it's Tokunaga porcelain. Sometimes, and this is really dangerous. It's dangerous because people won't remember Kuraku kiln. Uh, we've, we've, uh, we've arranged to, to name it Kuraku kiln at the end of the, of the day. And we need that Kuraku kiln exists in every product we need people to remember Karaku kiln we need to, people to know that the art residence is Karaku kiln's art res residence treasure hunting it's Karaku kiln treasure hunting the guest house it's uh Karaku kiln's guest house we need people to remember Karaku kiln first then the, the attraction then the products uh, as i said before the visual idea is a bit average a human resource yep Human resource capacity. Okay. Uh, HR capacity, human resource capacity. Like if we w you want to have a marketing project, you need at least a community manager to do things online. Com one community manager to to uh, to update people on what's going on. Uh, to send newsletters, for example, because Pimenta is doing everything. And once Pimenta is gone, what's gonna happen? So yeah, that's a really important thing. And lack of content, as I, as I said, values, beliefs, and positioning. For example, I've talked to Mr. Takunaga to Pimenta, but nobody told me that we believe in this and we want to make this happen because we believe in it. This is our pride and this is something that lacks in the factory. We need to know what we are standing for so that we can make a good message to the people. If we don't know ourselves what we believe in, then the message would be just wrong. The website, I will let Jeremy talk about it. I don't want to get into details. And for promotion, that's what we are going to work on. And no, or almost no offer for young generation so those are those are our weaknesses our opportunities we have the tourism industry that's growing that's development and maybe we can seize this opportunity to make ourselves known in the market collaboration with brands and hotels <laughs> collaboration with brands and hotels for example um, there were some hotels calling Pimenta. Uh, we have this, uh, this visitor that wants to go treasure hunting because he just knew about it. And the hotel that is calling Pimenta, so why not? We go to the hotels and we provide them with brochures or something in Arita so that they can hand it over and then, and then the game is over. 
uh, collaborations with tourism information centers. We have here Tourism, tourism Information Center and I don't know if you have something that, that is in there about the factory. We need to work on just a sort of paper to tell them that Erita eh, has got Kuraku Kiln. That's what we want, Kuraku Kiln. So that visitors and tourists that go to Information Center, for, for example, to to rent a bike or something, they would know about Kuraku Kiln through a brochure, through just just a small paper that that tells people that Kuraku Kiln exists in Erita. Uh, collaboration with the American base, why not? Because a lot of people from the American base come treasure hunting. So why not just provide them information as an email or brochure or just about anything so that they wouldn't wonder what's, uh, what's in Erita, but they would know that Kuraku Kiln exists in Erita. And then Erita is beautiful, isn't it? So this is something, this is our opportunity because Erita is beautiful because there's nature. We need to focus more about Erita and then tell them that in Erita there is Kuraku Kiln as well. For our threats, so we have competitors and they are competitors that sell at cheap prices. And this is a threat to Kuraku Kiln because it sounds to an average price or just expensive price. Competitors which display their work in galleries. We don't have galleries for Kuraku Kiln, so this is a threat. Competitors which commercialize their own shop in the town. We don't have a shop as Kuraku Kiln, so there are others that have other shops in the old street, for example. And then competitors that sell peripheral products, which means they sell porcelain products and then they sell scarves with the same motif, or they sell something that goes with with uh, with with porcelain products. They can buy porcelain products, but then people get interested in scarves and tish and uh, fabrics and you know fabrics with the same motif. So I've seen I've seen those. Then there are threats like for uh, threats for Kuraku Kiln as well. Okay, so this is the most important part, the suggestions. First of all, we need to know our goals, what we are aiming for before, before uh, defining a marketing strategy. So there are three goals, commercial goal, marketing goal, and corporate conscious goal. So for commercial goals, we want to increase in sales, we want to sell more. We want to generate income from the variety of, kil of the kills program. We want to generate money from the art residents. We want to generate money from the treasure hunting in the guest house as well. And uh, be able to redefine the offer so that, for example, we can go for crowdfunding. But we, know to, we, we need to know what we are aiming for before uh, making an offer for crowdfunding to renovate the art residence, for example. Marketing goals create a destination for visitors. We want to create a destination in Kuraku Kiln. We want Kuraku Kiln to be a destination just like uh, Disneyland, for example. We want it to be this way. I mean, people will come to Japan, for example, and know that in Erita there is Kuraku Kiln and they make something different. We want to see it. Define the DNA of the factory. We need to know our identity. Before anything else, we need to know our identity. We can't just operate like that. And then we want to boost the factory reputation nationally and internationally. We want to we want that people know, just know about Kuraku Kill. It's okay if we don't generate money for it. Treasure hunting, for example. But people that will come and just buy a basket, they now know about Kuraku Kiln. They will come back, for example. And then here, we're just going to operate by respecting the environment. We're not going to try to create projects and then we will just ruin the environment because Kuraku Kiln respects the environment and we need to know that, to know that as well. We want a big impact, so defining a clear strategic marketing is needed. We need to define it. Remember the current situation? Now it's gonna be like this. Our positioning, what, why, and who. So 
Krakow Kill, we provide our factory as a whole. We provide the factory as a whole to the world with its history, authenticity, and distinctive ceramic and porcelain facilities and techniques. This is what we're gonna offer to potters, artists, and anyone passionate about porcelain. We don't want to focus just on potters, artists, or just professionals in ceramic and porcelain, but we want to, we want to target even anyone passionate about porcelain and who doesn't know how to make porcelain. It, it, this, is, this is our main focus, and this is why we're gonna change the who. Not change it completely, but add something to it. Anyone passionate about porcelain in Arita through a rich program going from the art residence, redefined porcelain sets to treasure hunting. This is the positioning. This is how we want the market to know about the factory. And this is something that we need to display in every brochure, in every, because this is something that we need to believe in. This is our belief, because this is how we work. We want this uh, to go as a message to the market. If we want to, if we want big impact. Now the operational marketing. What we're trying to do is branding. We're gonna brand the place branding, which is the factory, and then we're gonna know how to communicate, which means that we need to know the positioning. We just did the positioning. It's this one, this paragraph. This is a really important paragraph because this is gonna be our belief and the identity, the value, and the attribute. We will see all of this. So, cool. Let's brand the factory. So name, Krakow Kiln. Good? This is the name. No other name. This is the name because this is the name that we're gonna share to the world. We are Krakow Kiln. We're not Happy Lucky Site. We're not Krak Tokunaga Persilain, for example. We're not, we are Krakow Kiln. Just like Kakiemon, it's it's known as Kakiemon. It's not known by any other name. This is what we that that is our name, our belief. We provide joy through art. We want people to be happy in in Karakukil. Either the workers, either the visitors, either the the artists. We want them to be happy. Our value. It's authentic. We want to be friend to the environment and we want to keep the history because Karaku Kiln is going from generation to generation. This is the third or fourth generation, right? Five. Fifth. Fifth generation. And attributes, we, we, we're, we're going to try to make our programs rich and diverse because the art residence has nothing to do with treasure hunting. So it's rich, it's diverse, it's one thing from another. So the DNA, authenticity, because it, it talks about history. To, Kuraku Kiln is, is old, Kuraku Kiln has a story, so authenticity is part of our DNA. Creativity, because we want to target young people, so because we want to, to create other products that will target young people, so we are trying to be creative. So this is part of our DNA as well. And naturality, because we respect the environment, because we don't want to change this, because this is who we are. So this is our DNA, this is who we are. We are authentic, we are creative, and we are natural, we are original. So for the logo, the logo is really, really important because it's gonna transmit our DNA, who we are. So, um, this is what I came with. Kuraku Kiln, the art of joy since 1865, made in Arita, Japan. If um, you say Kuraku Kiln, it's like Vegas. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, a slogan. This is, I suggest that this would be our slogan because we're trying to manufacture porcelain to make people happy. So why not just use this uh, slogan to transmit, because we don't manufacture only. We have the art residence, we have treasure hunting as well. So we want to, Karaku Kill to be a destination. So, and destination it's known, and this destination is known by art. 
So the art of joy since 1865, because we've been wanting so much to, 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 to make people happy. Joy, pleasure, luckiness, all of the other adjectives. So this logo, as I said, is not really attractive. It doesn't say much about Kuraku Kill. Like there are no colors of happiness like ha happy lucky side we want to transmit our logo through colors see what i mean and this i find this a winner this no no it's fine you can we can discuss that again. it is my idea this is your yeah, idea yeah. yeah it's not my idea i just mm -hmm. find it good Thank you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is a winner. This is average. Yeah. This is a winner. Why? Because um, we find here like so many colors, and these colors are transmitting happiness yeah. through art. Yeah. And I find it really, really good. Uh, I know, I know it was your idea. It's not my idea. I'm just trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so as, as I said, when you see this, you feel good, you feel happy. Mm. You want to discover, to come here and discover. And for example, I just gave an example. The business card would be more like this in here, mm. for example. And each color would just transfer, like the company name, your address. It'd be really, really good. It'd be really fantastic if you use this, this logo. I don't know what that means, actually. <laughs> what is it? It's the name of the person. Mm, it's person. Positive, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Kuraku. It's kill. not Kuraku Kyo. Yeah, yeah, it should be. Uh, it should be Kuraku Kyo. Yeah. And either you use manufacturing for a smile, either you use the art of joy. Sukka. Mm. <laughs> mm. Cool, cool. Mm. Okay, cool. And the whole set would look like this. With this, in all the supports, it would look good, really mm -hmm. good. Because we want us to be a company, we want us to be important, we want us to transmit our beliefs to every support. Mm -hmm. Okay, the site, which is the Karakul Kiln. When you say this, what do you think of? What do you think of? What are your ideas? I just really want you to talk a little bit. Do you, how do you see this space? How do you see it? Old factory. Old factory. Mm. Abandoned place. Abandoned. Well, those are good words. School. A school. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> Jeremy, any idea? No, what do you say? Mr. Tokunaga? Um. Old and old. Old. Mm, just yeah. old. Mm. But my idea, I love this space. Oh. I love it. Mm. I really love it. And I don't want it to change because this tells every little story in history about the factory. If we change it, if we try to be modern, then we ruin the history. But my idea would be more to add something like this. Like, for example, <laughs> If we make it in the entrance, um, this is going to be like the toilet because yeah. people always keep asking oh, yeah. about the toilet. Mm. So we might want to make signs so that people would just recognize the places by themselves. They don't just need to come and ask us. We don't want to hear where is the toilet all the time, all day long. So for example, here, the toilet. For example, here, uh, Mr. or CEO office or I don't know. Here, the production center. Um, here, the art residence. We want it to be alive. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. what I... And this is easy to make. I can make it just by wood. <laughs> it's easy and, and original. We want to go for original things. So, the logo that I showed you, the colors. Oh. The colors. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is just banners. Mm. They are easy to make. And for example, all these colors mm -hmm. would be something in the factory. 
For example, orange here would be the art residence. And we can write it in Japanese and then in English. Mm -hmm. Here would be, I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. Here we can make something else like... Okay. Here we can make another color, purple, treasure hunting or something like that. Or just put treasure hunting. And then here, production center. And this is the idea. We can just transmit every color, colors of happiness in banners. We don't want to change the factory. We just want to add something to the, to the, to the places. And this is just an idea. We can discuss it, we can discuss it later on. And this is really important. Make something that tells all the history about the factory. Because if we want to attract visitors, if we want to attract people from all around the world, you can't tell them all the history of the, the factory. So we can choose dates, important dates of the factory here and just write something about it. It can be just a wood thing. We can write it by hand in Japanese and in English, for example. And then we can write in uh, 1865, the opening or, you know, this is how it was created because people love history and they wouldn't just come to Pimenta and ask you how it was created. Why is it like this? So this is, this is really important if you want people to, to love this place, just love it. So this, this was my idea about the site. Mm. The products, the porcelain products. We need to find the one pattern that Karaku Kiln is famous for. I told you about this pimenta and you didn't, you didn't show me yet. We need to find that one pattern that Kuraku Kiln is known about because we need to promote about this. The other day we went to... What was the, the factory? Genyeimo. And you told me that this is what they do. This is the one thing they are known for. We want here to, to find that one pattern that we, we are known so that we can, we can promote about it. We can say this is, what, this is Kuraku Kiln actually. You need to, you still, we still need to work on that. Create a booklet. This is a good booklet, actually. All your products with the prices. This is really good because if you give it to people, they can just go home and look at it. Oh, I like this. I want to buy it. And they can come. See? And my idea is that if you produce things for food, you should take photos of these plates or these bowls with food in it. See, that's what, I, what I'm talking about. Because this, um, yeah, I would say just, just a bowl. But then if you put noodles in it or, or rice or just something, it would be really attractive. Really, really attractive. Because people would think, I, would, I want that because I want to make noodles in it. Exactly. So this kind of booklet, you don't have this. And we're going to work on the same thing on an online shopping website. If you make this in paper support, we can make this as well in online web website. So that's just an idea. And then seize the showrooms. The showrooms needs to be seized because when people come here and we, if we don't have a shop in the old street, if we don't have a gallery, we have a small spaces and we need to promote the products in there like just um fix the showrooms and make it accessible we want people to go in the showrooms because all the factories have showrooms and people go in there and probably they can uh love something in the showroom and just buy it right away for example this was for the product and for young generations my idea was to just seize the material that we we don't have to create other products but if you have white for that white bowls or white cups or something that is just white we can uh create some painting that would fit young people like exactly like share glass just exactly like that uh we can we can just um make a painting that is really simple and that would attract young generations. We don't need to create other things, but just seize the things that we have in the treasure hunting, for example, or in uh, 
in a stock stock place or something and look for things that we can make something new out of them we don't need to like like these cups they are white we can add something to attract to attract to attract uh, young people so that was just an idea but then if you want to create other things we can discuss it later okay Karaku kill the attractions the art residents what we're gonna try to do is use the network massively. Like if we know artists, if we know potters, we're gonna use it massively so that the word can be transmitted to the others. We can create application forms in the website. That was, that was just an idea. But application, like they don't need to contact Pimenta. Oh, what is this? And Pimenta would be just like answering to emails. Probably application forms with all the information would be good and facilitates the things. Generate, like we can work on automatic answers. They didn't need, but just like uh, your application form was accepted. That's it, like these kind of things. Promotional YouTube channel. We need a YouTube channel for the factory and we need to promote the place. We need to tell people that this is what we do here, this is what we do here, this is what we do in the production center, this is what we have, and this is really important, I can show you videos afterwards. As I said here, using the network and align with artist ambassadors, AA. For example, if we can work with artists that come here, for example, the five Australians, we can make them work with us, just for a period, just like for, for for, for, for a month or two months so that they can transmit the message that it was a good experience, that we learned a lot <coughs> and things like that. We need to create Instagram because people upload pictures and they want to tag the Karaku Kill for hashtags and anything, but they don't find Karaku Kill in Instagram. And that's it. And that's a shame because Instagram, it's the newest social media. So Instagram for Karaku Kill and exactly for Karaku Kill. And then uh, Facebook, we can just continue and change the happy lucky to Karaku Kill. This is what we do, this is what we do, this is what we do and make it alive. And then, uh, yeah, I said that. So, yeah. I have a question, can I yeah. ask now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Where are you? Actually, I, I, I'm preparing because people will come, you know, for experience mm -hmm. but uh, when we change for example the the name of uh, Kouraku uh, Happy Lucky mm -hmm. to Kouraku Kion mm -hmm. lot of people around no. the world yeah. know us as the residents the artists yeah but we know can... us Happy Lucky yeah how it work this change we can Put Karaku Kiln slash the art residents. Karaku Kiln, create another page, Karaku Kiln treasure hunting. See? But for example, we can get Karaku Kiln art resident and uh, kind of uh, take all the contacts of Happy Luck and the. No, 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 no. We're just gonna change it in the page. We're not gonna lose anyone. It's, go it's gonna keep. What? Only the name will change. Yeah, so. only the name will change. But if people continue looking for happy luck, and then they don't will find happy luck because happy luck will not exist, is this one? Uh, but How it's work? No, I don't understand. This is a page. Um, I, I, I know, I know it's page. hard. I know it's hard, <laughs> but uh, if you want to keep it happy lucky side, then you can keep it happy lucky side. But then add Kuroko no, Kiln, happy lucky side. But if we cut happy lucky side mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. become from now, Kuroko Kiln. Then ready. you're gonna tell people that this is what we've been up to. This is the, the new change. change. And yes. they will accept it. Have one way to send Yes, the you, exactly. You will find a way to tell people that Kuroko Kiln now, like there's no happy lucky. For, you're not gonna tell them there is no happy lucky th this way. The name but, change. Yeah, this is a, kind of a promotion for, for our change. We're gonna tell them that Kuroko Kiln, the art residence, the name has changed. This is why, this is why, this is why we want to provide something new to you. Blah, 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 blah. There, is, there is always a way to. to. Okay, I, I think in Omni, it's uh, opinion is right. 
I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Your opinion? Your opinion. Oh. Op opinion. Op opinion. Yeah, it's right. Mm -hmm. You uh, can tell yeah, us yeah, why. Yeah, people confuse. Mm -hmm. yeah, happy lucky, or a gamma, a tobunaga positive. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So you, your idea is uh, to integrate a uh, total image, right? Exactly, mm -hmm. integrate everything in Kuraku Kiln. Then yes. Kuraku Kiln has this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I agree, I agree. This is the idea. We can still discuss it, like there is time, but the change is needed. Because happy and lucky sight for me is childish. Oh. It's like a, it's like for, for games, it's like for an attraction park or something like that. Yeah. Mm. You, you have another page? Yeah, I still have. Finish? No, just a little. Okay. And I well, will finish. Like. Yeah, we can, we can discuss it. This is important. In the art residence, we're going to add something new, which is a day workshop for visitors. I just put this as an example. We can fix the price again. But we want normal visitors to come here and experience the workshops. We want them to make something, just a day. For example, jewelry or something just really small so that they will love it. Because in the treasure hunting, I've overheard people treasure hunting. They say, it'd be cool if we can make a workshop. Yes. It'd be uh, really cool. And they are applying already for the yes. jewelry workshop. Yeah, we have like a... I have already more than 10 people that want to come. And if we make a day workshop here, yeah. it will increase our image. It will increase the reputation. Because um, I, even myself, I would love to, to experience uh, making something, just sitting here and just trying to make a workshop of porcelain. And people will come more, will really come more. Like people that came for treasure hunting, all of them will come to, to experience yeah. the workshop. So we have a base. We have, we have the basis yeah. of this, uh, this new idea. Yes. Yeah, we talk uh, later uh, about this point. Okay. <clears throat> for the treasure hunting, we will use the same things here. Collaboration with Tourism Association and hotels, as I said before, because Pimenta, they kept calling you from hotels, they kept mm -hmm. calling you from tourism information, not knowing where to go and what to do in Arita, so... Yes, and it's national, I think you can put there, it's Japan and now outside Japan. About <laughs> three different countries have called me. Yeah, for hotel. Booking for the customers. So the one that calls you, maybe you can keep the contact and we can contact mm -hmm. them back. Mm -hmm. And this is and this way we will yeah, expand I have the contact already. Yeah. Exactly. Newsletter. For example, once a month or once fifteen days, we will send newsletters to all the emails that you have mm -hmm. that this is what's going on in Kuraku Kill. This is the news. We've made this, we have this project, uh, a come for treasure hunting, those people came to treasure hunting, so that uh, they, they will feel that they are part of the, the, the factory, that they are really important, see? And satisfy visitors at ambassadors. For example, we can use some of the visitors of treasure hunting to make a video, of, like saying, I've liked the experience, I did this and this, so that he or she would encourage other people to come. See? And satisfy visitors and ambassadors as well because they keep posting things on Facebook, posting things on Instagram, and this is why we need an Instagram page. Word of mouth is really important because this is what's working now. People keep telling each other that there is treasure hunting and people, other people would come like, uh, the, the same person would come like accompanying other people. And, and this is really important because word of mouth is the most successful uh, promotional tool. One repeater now, just bring four more people. Yeah, so that's the thing. <laughs> For students, we should promote that we have new tariff for students. We can we can go to students and tell them you can come try the hunting. You can just show us your student ID card and uh, and the price would be just as we fixed. But we need to promote this more for students as well. For example, those students that came on Saturday. We can post a picture or something saying that they enjoyed the experience, blah, 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 blah. And like now it's, it's the beginning of students coming to treasure hunting. This is what we're gonna work on. From yesterday night, we had about 300 shares. 300? That's amazing. 
That's amazing. So for the promotional video that we need to make, for I just um, chose an example for the art residence. No. Okay. I just need to show you this one video. How can I make this video work? No! <laughs> Still for us? No? Okay. No! I really want you to see the videos. Video hate you. <laughs> well, it's fine. I can show you the videos later on. Okay. I have to. It's fine. We can use Pimenta here. <laughs> <laughs> About the jewelry and accessory design, from this week I started to, to draw it mm -hmm. because the, yesterday I received another email by the same lady and she posted already into the Navy Journal. Ah, uh, this is why I said that the we will have the jewelry and accessory workshop in Cora Gama. Uh, we can, we can, uh, that's what I said and before. We will start looking for this from this week. Oh, that's awesome. I said that we can associate ourselves with the American base so that they can write about us. Because art has no boundaries. We are here and we're trying to make people come from all over the world. And this is our, our goal because we believe in it. But there is the problem <laughs> of human resource. At least because Pimenta is going. It's like one day or another he will be gone and who will take care of everything? So maybe just have an assistant and a community manager. Community, ma because we will go as well. I mean, we can help for the three months uh, making the community management rise, but then when we are gone, we need something to, we need someone to, to who will continue uh, the work online because we want people to know about us online. And this is an important thing. I mean, oh, everything I said, but then there is this. And yeah, I'm done. Thank you for your attention. Any question, we can start discussing. Okay. I can start? Yeah. You can So, uh, I'm going to talk about the website. So, Koraku no Atarashi website. Oh, good. No. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to give you some uh, overview because uh, most of the points are really techniques, technique, uh, technical. So I won't get into the details. So first of all, you're gonna use uh, what uh, is called a CMS. I don't know if you already heard about it. It's a content management system. Mm. It, is a, it is a tool to create website and uh, manage the website without uh, knowledge. It's more easy. So why should we... What is the WordPress, your company? WordPress? Mm. WordPress, is a, WordPress is a CMS. It's a big tool who, who can who can help you to build uh, your website. This is a tool the, you can install WordPress on your computer. It's a, it's a free software, mm. so you don't have to pay, but we'll, we'll get to that uh, later. So when you install WordPress, you have to choose a uh, theme. Mm -hmm. It's the way you will display the, the website. So there are a large, large choice of uh, Things in the WordPress. Suitsuke Suitsuke wa Ayai des. Okay. It's okay? Okay. Three uh, hours. The, the installation is uh, really easy. Mm. Whether you are on, uh, on Windows or Mac, um, I've, I've already worked uh, with it on uh, WordPress, mainly. I never tried on uh, Mac, but uh, this is. Uh, the same thing. It takes um, your your jupun yeah, to Hi. install without problem. But uh, if there are problem, it should be done with, 
in two hours maximum. So it's really fast to install the, the tool. Um, compatibility, um, yes, it works with uh, everything, iOS, Windows, Android for phones and things like this. Uh, free soft. And uh, the only one thing you have to pay for is the web server and hosting to, get, uh, to, to use WordPress. But uh, since you had um, the other web page, the kuraku.gp, we, 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 we can use the same tool. I will just uh, need the, the code access to the web server and uh, hosting just to install the fact, but uh, we'll talk about it later. And languages, the WordPress is, uh, is available in uh, many languages, Nyango, Ego, uh, Super Ego, and uh, many other languages, mm -hmm. so it won't be a problem. About uh, now about the trends and uh, that kind of questions is kind of the same of, of what you were trying to say earlier. What should people feel when they think about the company? So that's linked to the image and things like this. Because depending on the image, we won't display the, the information, the pictures and everything the same way. So we have to know, to know this to, to match to the customer's um, expectation. So some uh, UI, that was a uh, user interface. Um, this is the way you display the information. So I have, uh, there are now, about the trends, there are these three ways. So here image, long scroll, card layout, for example, your image is the site I have here. If I can show you. So this is uh, this kind of web page. You have a big um, you have a big image or video. So this is meant to to catch the eye, the eye of the visitors. So it's in uh, one page. And you have things like this, you can make your project and people can uh, click on it and it, uh, they go to, to the website. About the second, so about the long scroll, this is mainly um, for uh, websites in, what, in uh, one page, so the same thing, but it's more, the parts are more, how can I say? The different parts are more easy, yeah. as you can see here, they are, they are cut in some uh, different, the different part of the page correspond to several pages, that's why they have uh, a line between each section, and then it's uh, the same thing, you can make something like the uh, WooCommerce, which uh, enables you to, to buy some stuff, but uh, we should see about that too. And the last one is more card layouts, so there's more many boxes, I guess, kind of boxes. And all the website is like this. It is nice if you have uh, many things to show, if you have many projects and things like this. It's, uh, it's a good, uh, good way to, to display the website. So that this uh, these are some some way to display website nowadays. Uh, second question: How to give more visibility to the website? Because it's nice if you have a, a very beautiful website, but uh, if uh, nobody knows it, you won't uh, you won't be useful. So the different way. You can work with uh, Google no Omoi, like uh, My Business, um, Google AdWords. I've already worked with it. That's for the ads. To you can uh, manage different ads. Google Plus, uh, Search Console. There are other tools for with uh, Google. That's the best way to start 
to make those uh, website um, known by Google first and Google will help you to make your site more well known. Um, create backlinks to the other websites. This is things like uh, when um, people write, uh, write articles on for, for example on the, on the treasure hunting and they uh, create a blog or something. It's nice to have the, a connection to their website because for Google, the more, the more websites talk about you and the more you will be visible. So that's an important thing. Working on SEO, uh, that's the way. Mm, let's see this. It is, yes, it's refreshment. Um, it is a way to to add the Google the Google box the the objects who help Google to make your website more visible to be uh, just to be better so that's one way just like you there are many things like uh, working on the image for example when you put an image on your website you can add the text behind it for example for the people who are blind if they can see the pictures they can have to who can read the text for them so this is uh, one thing to for one example of the things you can say you can do with it there are more complex things with uh, working on the address link because sometimes you have an address it's more it's uh, simple like Kuala uh, Kubama but sometimes you see some uh, website which is very long with many number, numbers and you can, you can remember so this is uh, things to get easier for the customers and for us too mm, about being present on the social media you, you've already talked about it that's an important thing too mm. the good thing is that uh, it's free and, you, and it is people who make you um, who talks about you so the people make your uh, uh, promotion for you mm. manage online review that can be something that uh, that that's, that's just an idea uh, maybe if, if we make uh, if we put forms on the website to ask people if they if when they come here they came here uh, what part did they like and things like this uh, if they bought something let um, just let a review some things like this to just to for the pers for, for, for the people who haven't been here to have a quick idea of what people think of uh, the company mm -hmm. and they create personas that's linked to part of my works on uh, last Saturday so I was here um, to to take some notes on what the students were, were taking and things like this this is meant to to understand the the customers like uh, what kind of product do they seek uh, what kind of colors what kind of shapes that's everything like this and with this you it is meant for create some characters which will help us to know what kind of uh, what kind of website those people would like to see so it's a little difficult because the, it's the first time for me that I do it for for websites. So I need uh, many informations, like uh, what is the job of the client, also for the Kuala Kugama, um, what are they doing in their life, uh, the age, where where they are coming from, uh, as many of as many information as I can get will be the better. about the content um, what kind of information should we put online so since i think for me that there would be uh, three parts the main part about the kura kugama uh, second parts concerning all the projects so like uh, treasure hunting uh, chair glass all the kind of projects that, that are linked to the company and the third part to um, to the studio and uh, residency so for me the website would have uh, information on those three parts but uh, we have to know 
what we would what we want to to put in the website and what uh, shouldn't be on the website because there's a lot of information so you have to yeah, the right yes to try to separate uh, what could be interesting for the people so there are also there are things like uh, photo videos that we can add on the websites now it's really easy uh, about the we can do some newsletters which are linked to the backlinks so since there are already some blogs talking on talking uh, about us you can put their links on the website to just to make the sign more visible uh, and of course the online shop what kind of products would be on the website and how to display them do we put uh, just a product for the Kula Kugama or also for the treasure hunting I don't know now we should uh, discuss about it later and uh, one thing about the online shop, uh, usually on the, um, on WordPress, there are tools for for this, but they are not free. Usually, you, it's uh, between uh, as as and as and ten days to each man and this. But uh, I'm willing to pay myself for you because uh, that's something I can do if you want. But uh, we'll talk about it later because there's, there's a lot of uh, lot of things to do with the uh, online shop. If you have question, uh, this is the user experience. Mm, how to say it? This is something made to make the website more alive. So, for example, when, when you come to some, to some websites, they are more interactive. That's, some, that's what I want to, to do here. So you can use the uh, tool to give the customer the good feelings when they come to the website. So this can be, there are very various things. This is uh, linked to the UI, so user interface. Actually, you work, to the, you work on the, I work, on the UI, on the interface, to make the user experience better. So, the thing is to turn the design component into a lever, a lever to attract the visitors, and so to turn them into buyers and customers. And also, we should take uh, advantage of some mail tool. I found some mail tools uh, that are really meant to, to focus on some, uh, some segment of your customers because uh, I think that's something you know. When you get some mail sometimes there are a lot of spams and we don't want to, to do the same when people will our, just our mails. So we have to work on that. Also on forms, uh, different kind of forms of uh, maybe to make some kind of uh, subscription to a newsletter or things like this, or maybe uh, to create an, uh, an uh, account to buy the uh, to buy the stuff online. Uh, and uh, I was thinking about the social media, make some uh, contests also to make the website well known. For example, there's the Adidas company. Um, it was the last years, for the last few years, they've made um, a contest in Paris. So they create some sort of uh, running contest in five in five neighborhoods of Paris, and uh, the people have to share the experience with the brand. So they have a special um, outfit made for them by uh, by Adidas. So that was something very nice because there were some people who, wasn't, who weren't customers before and with that experience they became linked, they, they had a strong link to the, to the company. So we can do the same thing here, like creating some uh, social media contests, like uh, a photo contest, like uh, yes, taking, taking pictures in the, I don't know, uh, like taking pictures and things like this 
I just got the idea, not a specific idea about the, uh, what kind of contents it could be, but uh, that can be nice because it makes people talk about the website, so that's good for us. So to sum up, yes. UX means uh, user experience. Yes, user yep. experience. X one means uh, application or what? What? Uh, do you know? I, have, right. I have something to that can help you to understand. Oh, yeah. So this is the UX. Yes, I should have put it before maybe. Uh, that's my mistakes. So there are three things. This is the. Um, this is what UX is about. So there's the thing: look, feel, and usability. So it's uh, okay. Okay, can. Okay, can. Yeah. Okay, can for look. Feel impression what they what they feel when they come to the website is that a beautiful site. We want people to come back to the website, so this is linked to this the feel and the look too, and uh, this is the three things. So feel, it's a uh, uh, sawari, sawari mm -hmm. and uh, usability. How to make the uh, website uh, the most uh, the more easier as possible. So in Sovietity, we have uh, Tsukai Karte. Mm -hmm. So this is the, these are the three things that uh, make the user experience. So the look, how the website looks, to, uh, simply. How people are uh, linked to the website, do they love the website? Uh, what make them come, come again to, maybe I don't know, just to to watch some uh, special part and for the pictures, I don't know. But they have to feel something when they come to the website and the usability, how to make the site really simple to use for everyone, or at least as many as we can. So this is the, this is the way to work to make the site more easier for people to understand, to use, and uh, just to, to experience. yes, to experience. Yeah, I, I think mm -hmm. look, look means uh, meal, uh, meal, mm -hmm. not kind of. <laughs> uh, look, meal, feel, uh, kanjil, kanjil, mm. feel, feel, kanjil, kanjil, not sour. Sour means touch. Ah, okay. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I find the country, but I, I wasn't sure that things. Easy translation. So for Phil, it's what? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Look, mirror, can you? Mite, can you? Look and feel, right? Mm -hmm. That's an experience. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's what, uh, that's what I will try to, to make. Uh, but this is my first time, so I try my best. I don't know because it's three months. It's short to see the result, so I try my best to see where this can get, and uh, that's it. So, if you have any questions, 